Hi everyone, uh, my name is Anthony Cristante from Vancouver, Canada. Uh, thanks to Sergio Raimundo for um, reaching out for the opportunity to do this video. Uh, today I'm just going to be talking about uh, the Canada Soccer Coach Pathway and uh, basically what you can expect in the different levels of courses and uh, just the general outcomes of uh, the Coach Pathway. Um, and over the past maybe four years I'd say the pathway has changed a little bit uh, in terms of the courses they offer and uh, the different leveling in the courses. So in today's presentation I'm going to go over the most recent changes. Uh, so what you see here is the British Columbia soccer pathway. So within Canada uh, each province or region is in, is in charge of their own uh, soccer organizations. Everything from putting the leagues together, uh, organizing the fields, organizing the coach education uh, sessions within their province. Um, so everyone, uh, every province looks similar. There might be one or two differences, but everything is still coming from Canada soccer and then it gets broken down by each region. So here uh, we have the BC soccer, uh, starting at the bottom with the children. We start usually start with the active active start course, which is uh, targeting the ages four to six, progressing to the fundamentals and learn to train, which covers everything uh, under twelve. So usually, when you're starting on under twelve, most clubs will offer uh, parent coaching with their teams. So in order to be a licensed coach, you'll have to do one of those three uh, children phase courses. Progressing up to the youth, so maybe you're coaching uh, U13 to U18, uh, high performance league, might even be the second league. Uh, but we're starting with now learn to train, train to compete, and soccer for life. So the one main difference that all you'll also find in these is uh, the children's phase. It's of course 7v7 format or 5 uh, vs 5 format, whatever it may be. And then going to the youth phase, it's going to be 11 versus 11 format. So uh, that is the one main difference uh, that you'll get just due to the difference in uh, the target age group for each course. And finally, we're finishing with the adult uh, phase. So there you're going to see coaching U19 plus, whether that's men's league, uh, in, uh, it could even be college, it could be masters. So what that is, is maybe over 40 or over 50 league. So not necessarily youth soccer, uh, but it's still there. And again, that's the uh, 11 v 11 game format for the most part at that age. And lastly, in the adult phase, it's trade to win. So that's gonna be your, uh, you know, MLS clubs, your national teams, any other high performance uh, environment. So one big thing in uh, Canada soccer is they really want to focus on LTPD, which stands for long-term player development. And to simply break this down, um, it's Canada soccer believes every player deserves the best possible soccer experience. So what they try to relate this to is, of course, human evolution. So what they say is, as human evolution develops, people get smarter, people through trial and error, they'll learn different things. But everything within, uh, all the challenges within that need to be appropriate. So an example that they've given us before is, um, say you're working with an under nine team, so you have eight year olds. And on the next weekend, you're coaching your men's team. So of course, the way you're going to approach those two is different. How you're going to challenge the eight-year-olds is different than how you're going to challenge the adults. So what they're really trying uh, to emphasize is being appropriate with your challenges. So Coach Pathway, getting a bit more into each course. Uh, you're, again, you're starting at the community level, which is learn to train fundamentals and active start mostly focusing on eight aside, seven aside, even even down to three aside at uh, some clubs are doing three aside. So it's basically an introduction to the coaches, how to make sessions, why the kids play, basic coaching behaviors, 
uh, everything from setup of the session, organization and managing of the sessions to basic coach behavior. Again, going back to making things appropriate. So usually at this course, you're getting people who are new, uh, new to soccer, maybe new to sport in general. So the main idea is for them to really be uh, comfortable and understand why we're coaching. It's really for the kids and not for the adults. So those courses are offered uh, sometimes by individual clubs, uh, but everything's still coming down from Canada soccer. So once you progress from all the community phase courses, now you're going to be at the children's license, which is actually, uh, I believe, only a year and a half old. So now we're getting into some of these new courses and new changes that have been coming in Canada soccer. So the children's license target age is uh, under 12s and it's coaching theory and methodology for that age. So through the course, you're gonna mostly learn uh, how to establish appropriate youth training, uh, youth training academies, and then the methodology that's gonna influence and uh, fuel those academies. So the one that target uh, the main idea from that course that I found was transformational coaching. So it's everything from theory, emotional development from the children, appropriate challenges, and developing decision making. So the idea of, is tra of transformational coaching is to put these kids in uh, an environment where they're able to develop their skills without being, uh, without having a hindrance any in any sort of way so maybe uh, if you're doing an unopposed exercise with no defenders dribbling through the cones they say you might be helping some of the kids but not every kid in that in that uh, exercise might be getting help so what they're really emphasizing is playing that game because it's gonna help all different child uh, all different children with all different types of needs uh, so transfer, that's transformational coaching and uh, it's a one year long course with in-person meetings and online tasks. So throughout the course, you're going to have to do uh, a few assignments online, uh, a couple of sample session plans, and you're also going to have to film yourself coaching your own group. So uh, wh again, what they're looking for is, can you be positive? Can you engage the kids appropriately? Okay, and can you establish a basis of decision making in the under 12 age group? So next, going into the youth program or youth uh, youth course. Now we're going up and targeting under 18 age. Again, with coaching theory and methodology for that age group. So the target candidate is the coaches in the high performance stream from ages 13 to 18. So what that might um, the levels that that might include might be, for example, the Whitecaps Youth Flares, the uh, High Performance League, which is the uh, top youth league in BC. And again, every region has their own version of this league. So in BC, it's called the British Columbia Soccer Premier League or BCSPL. So to, order, in order to coach in that, you're going to need to have the youth license. The main idea from this course, which is a progression of the children's license, is understanding the on-field responsibilities of the coach from a yearly perspective. So not only are you uh, worrying about one session plan or the methodology of one or two session plans, but it's the yearly peri periodization of those session plans, developing a model through those session plans. So what they really try to introduce is everything should come from your game model. Everything should be your belief. You shouldn't be having arbitrary, random thoughts about what to coach, uh, what to coach your kids on Tuesday. For example, they say um, if your team wasn't good at building out of the back and breaking lines on Saturday, that doesn't mean you go in training on Tuesday and automatically work on that because one, you might have had an off day. Two, the opposition might have been very good at defending that type of pass. So the idea is to build your periodization, build your game model over one year, 
and really stick and believe in it. Not, and that's not to say you don't change it and develop it over time. But what they're saying is stick to your yearly plan and use that as your basis because theory fuels practice. And again, this is a one year long course with in-person meetings and online tasks, very similar to the children's license. So continued, now we have the C license, which uh, again, everything you're gonna see on this page has been updated over the past few years. So if you're seeing this and done it maybe 10 years ago, some of the wording of the courses may have changed. Uh, but the C license now is the basis one from the Canada soccer uh, leveling. Everything uh, previously was also Canada soccer, but it's uh, offered through the uh, regional uh, bodies. So now when you're looking at the C license, it's getting more into session plan designing. So it's a four day course uh, that's improving your vision mission and values of a coach as well so in that they really want us to uh, they really want to emphasize with us the game-based approach and coaching the one or two players on the ball so basically what that means is uh, it's the, again it goes back to the enabling decision making but if you're playing two versus two the player on the ball has a uh, minimized number of or reduced number of decisions as opposed to playing eight versus eight so the idea is if you're playing two versus two you're giving the player on the ball less decisions but within that they're able to develop those few decisions being made so they really want us to uh, break the games down into smaller formats two versus two three versus three three versus two even three versus one the players are able to develop their decision making uh, in an appropriate manner and getting into game activity game what that basically means is that's the way they encourage us to structure our session plan so you'll start say your session is an hour and a half you'll arrive do a warm-up arrival activity maybe some rondos you'll get a uh, finish your warm-up uh, game activity game so Warm up, you'll start with a game, just an open game, not much uh, restrictions, conditions for the players. Then you're gonna go into an, a modified activity. So that's when you're gonna break the exercise down into a more, um, into a more zoomed in area. So if you're working on uh, wide play on the left wing, maybe you're gonna do an activity on the left wing, that's four versus four as opposed to eight versus eight, and only coaching when the ball goes in the left wing. And then of course you're finishing with an open game. So the idea is the one activity is when you do your coaching and you really modify the activity to provoke the behaviors that you want your players to, uh, to be acting on. So progressing now to the B license. Now it's a five day course, also emphasizing session plan designing. Mainly the difference between an activity and match play, again, and how to structure the session accordingly. So they're gonna start to introduce to you uh, something called a phase that they call a phase of play. So the difference between a phase of play and an activity that they say is a phase of play is basically a chopped off portion of the field. So it's a game, but instead of using two big goals with two goalkeepers, maybe you use one big goal with a goalkeeper and two smaller goals on the, on the opposite side of the pitch. So from there, you're basically maybe cutting the pitch in half or three quarters and doing your exercise within that part of the pitch. And now as the game size is getting bigger they're now focusing on the four to six players around the ball so again the progression from c to b is now you're working on more players around the ball more decision making so instead of a two versus two maybe now we're going to play a six versus four also in the b license it's uh it's an introduction into sports sciences introduction into recovery 
so in the previous youth license uh, they they talked much about periodization yearly planning now in B they're going to talk about how to implement the yearly planning how do you avoid injuries or how do you reduce the risk of injuries maybe are you going to do an intense session on Friday if you have a game on Saturday or do you do the intense session on the Wednesday or the Monday so things like this how to strategically plan uh, your session planning throughout the year is uh, more involved in the B license next on the A license uh, it's this has been probably one of the courses that has been changed the most over the past two years uh, but it's now a two-year long course that emphasizes periodization recovery long-term planning as well as this building a game model understanding sports science and developing tactical strategies developing communication and presentation skills and using technology so for me i haven't done the a license yet but the main difference is the ability to present the information so just at the bottom where it says developing communication and presentation skills and technology that's where they're going to be introducing to you um, analytical software how to break things down for your players how to use video uh, appropriately how to give feedback that matches your uh, your game model so the, again everything is basically a progression from the previous course uh, just growing and getting deeper and deeper so the c license has gone from one or two players on the ball the b license four to six a license you're now coaching all 11 players on the ball so for your sample session you're just going to play an 11 versus 11 exercise and coach the players within the 11 11 as opposed to the b and the c where you might do an activity and break things down And lastly, the pro license, which is new for 2021. There's no information public, uh, publicly available yet, but it's the progression from the A license and will be the highest license offered by Canada Soccer. Uh, unfortunately, there's no information available, but I do assume uh, that would be the one needed to coach professional, uh, professional teams, whether it's in the Canadian Premier League or any other Canadian uh, professional league. So here we just have a little more information on the game activity game and game based model. So the CSA emphasizes a game based approach to coaching and again that means playing activities with defenders. They don't want to play without defenders because it limits decision making. They also encourage to move far away from the unopposed technique exercise uh, based exercises because when you remove the defender, you're removing multiple stimuli that the players are able to read. So imagine you're the attacker and you're able to read the defender's position, speed, direction, and many other stimuli that influences your decision making. The second you remove that defender, now there's no decision making and the player is not working on a skill, but rather they're just kicking the ball or running with the ball, but it's not it, instead of becoming a soccer action, it just becomes kicking the ball. So it's been noted in courses that the reason for this is due to the belief that Canadian players struggle to make decisions that other players are able to do so in the international club and national team level. They say this in different courses. Um, one of the old national team coaches came in and said, and use those exact words. So they're saying that this is a uh, product of the research over uh, tw you know, 10 years, 20 years. And this is what our kids are missing at the youngest ages. That there's a big focus on technique, but not the decision and the execution of the technique. So here's a little video, uh, let the game be the teacher. So here's uh, an example of something that I've used. Uh, sample GAG gag uh, game activity game global analytical global uh, there's tons of different names but here we're starting with the general warm-up whatever it is uh, I've got some FIFA 11 and some rondos so it's a rival activity start then we're moving with the regular game coach position with the balls players are playing five versus five here we have a four versus two to three versus two 
So here, let's say the topic is playing into the striker or uh, forwards runs, forward runs, layoffs, whatever it may be. Uh, here, it's four versus two, with the one versus two. So the four whites are trying to possess the ball, play into the striker. Once they play into the striker, the game becomes a five versus four, or five versus five with the goalkeeper, I should say. White teams are trying to score on this goal. Blue teams transition to the transition pugs. And lastly, finishing with the game again. So here's a sample like game activity, game session, game one, activity, bro activity broken down, and final game. So again, the main idea is there's decision making, there's opposition, there's lots of stimuli for the players to read, and they're not just executing the coach's decision. So here, uh, last, lastly, the coaching pathway continues. So when you're starting out, uh, you're gonna start out with your community clubs, moving into your divisional teams. So that might be, you know, the lower end, U12, U13, U14 teams, maybe even an academy, uh, working your way up to the high performance league, which is EA Sports BC Soccer. So again, this is the first step into the high performance pathway. Next, you're getting into the BC Soccer High Performance Program, which one, takes the best players from the league, makes teams, and in theory, takes the best coaches as well. Then getting into the MLS Academy, which is our club is the Vancouver Whitecaps FC for male and female. Next, we have the Canadian, or Canada Youth National Team, U15, 17, and 18. Next, there's the professional teams. Uh, Vink, again, the Whitecaps FC, and what you don't see here, Canadian Premier League, which our local team is Pacific FC. And lastly, the full national teams, uh, again, for male and female. So here, just lastly, we have a little snippet from uh, the Canada Soccer website. It's their main goal and their mission statement for their coach education. So I do really believe this as they do have something for everybody, whether you're starting with five-year-olds, 18-year-olds, amateur, professional, uh, first-time players or seasoned pros, they do have something for everybody. And I think that's also evident in the using the game-based approaches. They want every, every kid to have a chance to learn. So hopefully uh, you guys got some insight into the Canada Soccer Pathway. Um, I know I'm enjoying going through the pathway myself. And uh, yeah, if, if anyone has any questions, always feel free to reach out. Um, my name is Anthony Grisante, and thanks Sergio for the opportunity to make this video. Take care.